What is going on guys, it is your boy T Stingray and welcome back to another video And yes guys, you see it, you read it right And today, we are going to be building a Bugatti dealership in Car Dealership Tycoon You guys can see we got the Lamborghini right over here If you guys haven't seen the full video when I built this Lamborghini only dealership Go check it out guys, the video is going to be in the description down below So today we're going to be doing the same exact thing But we're going to be doing it with the Bugattis And the reason why we're doing this is because, well we got a couple models that change and at the same time guys uh we got some new ones so let's get this video started all right my first concern is the bugatti up top so you guys know that bugatti is now getting copyrighted in cdt so uh let's go check upstairs because we have a bugatti up there and i'm not sure if that's gonna be there for a while I mean, yeah, there it is. It's still there, which is great. You guys know that they in downtown, they changed it from the Bugatti to the uh, 8x8 Fion, which is this ugly thing right over here, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start with the front podium. Let's go ahead and put the best Bugatti out here. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and put uh an old school up here since we actually have an old school in the front now so let's go ahead and go to the hyper atlantic or the hyper lux arctic but they also have the older model which is i believe it's called the oh hyper lux arctic this one's wait are they both the same name yeah they're both the same name are you serial look at this Look, <laughs> they had like no like hyper, like nothing, Dif no difference between these two, which is weird. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put this one up here. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but they did change the look of this. Doesn't look like the uh, OG one anymore, which is saddening, but still looks kind of cool. Not bad at all, which I kind of want to drive. You know what? Let me go ahead and pull that out real quick. That looks pretty fun to drive, guys. Check this out. The Hyperlux Attic or the arctic yo look at this and i believe we got this back in halloween guys during a halloween event this was super fun i can't wait to see what they're gonna do for this halloween guys i'm gonna be really really excited to see what the new updates and what kind of cars we're gonna get like this one all right let's go ahead and leave this out here for aesthetics nice and then next we got uh the showroom let's go ahead and put something really nice oh what the heck the thing just smacked me, dude. All right, you know what? I'm going to go inside here. I'll close this so it doesn't smack me. What's up, soldier? How you doing? All right, let's go over here. Uh, we got this Lamborghini. Ooh, SVJ. Uh, let's go ahead and change this up. The Hyperlux, uh, the Hyperlux now is time to shine. Now, we got a couple of good ones here. We got the Bull Lead. We also got the 300 Plus. And we also got the Hyperlux uh, Visual RT or the Gran Turismo. But, you know what? I think I'm going to put a very good one in there, which is the Devo. There we go. Yeah. Oh, no. This is the Chendo Diechi. I'm sorry. This is an all-white Chendo Diechi with a highlight Sion inside or interior. <laughs> and then uh, we got some... Uh, Neon um, cyan calipers. Those are pretty cool. And you guys can see this thing is $18.75 million. Super expensive, guys. A Hyperlux Center or the Tendo Diechi. Super cool. All right, next we got right over here. You know, what? I'm going to put the best Bugattis down here, guys. I think that would make sense, right? Let's go ahead and put the Bullied in here because this thing is a beast. Like, the Bullied, it owns its own floor. But we're going to put it here because it should be the first thing you should see when it comes to Bugattis, guys, because this is a piece of art. Also, guys, quick plug. There is a brand new merch in my Roblox store. Go check it out. It's called the Avocado. You guys should go buy it right now or else. I don't know what I'm going to do, but go buy it. Go check it out. It's pretty cool. All right. Plug over uh, Machino Rivello. Let's go ahead and change this. This is the Rivuelto. Pretty nice, but let me go ahead and change it to the Hyperlux again. Now we got the 300 plus. Or we can go put the Lava Junior, or we could put the Gran Turismo. You know what? Let's go ahead and put that in there. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's cool. That is sick, bro. That is sick. Okay, now let's go upstairs. And I have a special, uh, you know, floor for these special cars. And, uh, um, yeah, because they're not really the best cars in here right now. But look, this is a uh, Machina Zero or the Lamborghini uh, Centenario. Or no, this is the uh, Sion. Let me go and change that up. And uh, is this the Centenario? I think this is the Centenario. 
Oh, wow. Or is that the Centenario over there? Okay, never mind. These models look so different. I don't even know which ones are which now. So this is the Sion, and that's the Centenario. And we still got the Bugatti Butter over here. All right, next one, Hyperlux. Uh, let's go ahead and put the... Ooh, the 300 Plus. Deserves its own floor with this beautiful camo right here. And if you guys are wondering how I got that, it's because it's an OG camo. You guys can see right here, OG. Yeah, OG. I'm the OG. I'm OG. Guys, if you guys are OG, comment down below. I want to I wanna know who the OG subscribers are. All right, here we go. The next one, we got the Chetanario right here. And then we're going to go and change it to another Hyperlux, all right? We got, we got, uh, the, ooh, the Lavantua Nior. Let's go ahead and change it to that. Look at this. This thing is a beautiful piece of art. You know what? It's so nice. I'm going to go ahead and pop it out. I, I miss driving this. This is, this car is the biggest flex ever. Like, look how shiny this car is. This car is absolutely glorious. Okay. This is an absolute piece of art right here. And it could, should never be touched in any other way or never change colors. I think they actually messed up on the calipers here. I think the calipers are supposed to be like grayish. But you know what? That's okay. Now let's go ahead and go to this STO. The Machina Torino. Let's go ahead and see what we got over here. Now we got the Hyperlux. All right. Hyperlux. Now we got a couple left. We got the Minstrel right over here. We got the Pure Sport. We got the Devo, and then we got the other ones. Oh, we got the, oh, the EB110. I forgot there's so many Bugattis in here, guys, that it's actually going to fill up our dealership, which is great. But I'm going to put the Pure Sport in here because it is absolutely beautiful. Look at this, guys. This is the Pure Sport. Oh, wait. You know what? I forgot to do one thing, guys. I am so dumb. Let me go ahead and change the Lamborghini to Bugatti. There we go, guys. And it has to be pronounced like that. There we go. The Bugatti dealership is now in range. Let me go ahead and change this to black and orange. There we go. So the uh, dealership should look nice now, guys. It should be black and orange. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. That's nice. You know what? I'm going to do something a little bit more different. Let's go ahead and change the primary color to orange. There we go. And then let's go ahead and change this to white. Yeah. Yeah. And then this, let's change it to white. There we go. Is that uh, good? Or blue? Or, ooh, that's like McLaren colors right here. Bugatti's got to be like blue or something. Or no, they got to be like red and black. That's like their main colors. So let's go, let's go in red and black. Kind of like the pure sport. Oh, wait. There we go. Yeah, just like that. Or we could go with the Bugatti blue. And then with the white pillars. Oh, wait. What do we just do? Bugatti blue with the white pillars. Yeah, that's nice. That's not too bad. You know what? I actually mistaken it. They're actually colored red. So let's let's leave it that. That's nice. This is nice right here. All right. This floor is now filled. Let's go to the third and final floor. And let's go ahead and see what other Bugattis we have left. Now we got this Super Trofeo right over here. Or this is, yeah, this is the Super Trofeo, I think. I don't know. There's so many Huracan models out right now, guys. I'm just forgetting all of them but uh well, let's go ahead and put the hyperlux in here we got the minstrel left and we also got the hyper attic the reason why i don't want to put this because i think this is the boo boo Gotti model which is not the uh uh the good one if you guys notice they did change a lot of the bugatti models in here which is unfortunate they don't look really uh good but a lot of them are still great like the minstrel it still has the same bugatti look we're gonna appreciate it before it's gone Look at it, guys. Oh, my gosh. This is going to hurt when they change my Bugatti dealership, guys. When the update drops, this Bugatti dealership is going to be absolutely ugly. So let me go ahead and just embrace this, guys. So if you are in my server, go ahead and drop into my Bugatti dealership before it is finally changed. All right. Let's go ahead and put the last car and the final car, guys, of our Bugatti dealership. And let's finish this. Ooh, who deserves this? the last one um there's a lot of them that are still like the new models so we got this model right here now i want to say that this is still the same one it looks like it is the same bugatti so i think we're gonna leave this in here until they change it which i'm so glad they didn't change this yet 
And I think the first one that's in the front, I think they already did. I might change that one because we actually have another one. I don't know. Leave in the comments down below. Did they change that one or am I just like not knowing my vehicles right? But this is my Bugatti dealership, guys. All right. I just told everybody in the server. I just built a Bugatti dealership. And they wanna, if they want to come and check it out, they can. And they will be in the video if they do. Oh, look. People are rolling in. Hello, sir. <laughs> People are coming in. This is cool. And he bought his Funier Super Sport. That's pretty cool. I'm going to say welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Welcome to my Bugatti dealership. Where you can buy or not. Depending how rich you are. How rich are you, hello? Let me see. Uh, hello is worth $13 million. I don't think he can afford a Bugatti. But you know what? It's okay. We'll go ahead and donate to him, guys. Let's go ahead and donate to him. All right, 50K. There we go. Donate. I'm going to donate him 250000 There you go. Here you go. You can keep it. You can keep the money, sir. You need it. Oh, he's the only one that came, bro. <laughs> this is sad. Okay, we got one customer in here. On our grand opening of the Bugatti dealership, if you guys want to join me in here, Please do. We just finally opened and we have no customers. I'm kind of sad. But let's go check out what we got. So you guys can see right in the front, we got the uh, Bugatti Arctic or the EB110. And then right over here, guys, on the very first floor, we got a couple of cool cars. We got the little Bugatti Chendo de Yechi right over here. And then we got also another Bugatti Bleed. <laughs> This is too much, guys. Okay, then we got another Bugatti Gran Turismo Sport GT. I think that's... I, I messed up the name. The Bugatti Gran Turismo Visual GT, guys. Look at this. This is beautiful. Very, very nice Bugatti. <laughs> All right, moving up to the second floor, guys. Another room of Bugattis. The first thing we got introduced with is a La Venture And then right across the way is another La Venture on the podium. <laughs> And then we got the Bugatti Butter right over here, guys. I don't see this as gold. You guys already know that I call this as the Bugatti Butter. This is butter. This is not gold, okay? And then also we got this uh, Bugatti 300 Super Sport Plus. And you guys can see we got the OG camo with it. Very, very nice and sparkly. And then right there in the back sitting mean, guys, is the Pure Sport. I absolutely love this car. This is one of my favorite Bugatti models, and I've seen one in real life. And rate my motto, guys. Look at this. This is beautiful. All right, guys. The last floor of the dealership. We got two classics right up here, guys. First, we got a Bugatti Minstrel. There is only 40 of these, I believe, in the world. I believe there's 20, but it might be 40. But this is a very, very rare Bugatti Minstrel right over here, guys, with the OG wrap. And then right across of it, sitting, last but not least, we got the brand new OG Bugatti Atlantic right here guys which is the remake of the Atlantic that's in front of the dealership if you guys didn't know about that but you guys can see it's sitting pretty kind of reminds me of an AMG GT and if you guys didn't know this is probably one of the only Bugattis that has the engines right in the front of the hood instead of it being in the back but that is my Bugatti dealership leave it in the comments down below what do you guys think do you guys think I did a great job or do you guys think uh it's boo Bugatti and I'm super glad I didn't have to use any of these ugly models. I mean, no offense. I mean, copyrights are, you know, going around right now. But dang, bro. Like, I mean, it's not too bad. I guess you could say it's not too bad. Kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, GTA 5. Maybe it's GTA San Andreas Bugatti. I don't know, guys. The older ones. Like this one right here, guys. Oh, those cat eyes. <laughs> those are cat eyes, guys. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. And peace out.